Insecticide and candy, what an excellent combination. I'd like to thank Charles, who sent some candy from Canada, or sweets as we call it here. He sent Crispy Crunch, which is peanut-based, Jersey Milk Chocolate, Big Turk, which is part, partly Turkish like Coffee Crisp, and Thrills Gum, which says it still tastes like soap. Excellent. These are the only ones. He said he researched beforehand and said that he was surprised we didn't have all these. These are the only ones I recognise. Locally, we have the Aero. Um, that's interesting. Looking forward to trying these. I shall put them out the way at the moment, though, because this video is about this. So this is a insect deterrent type thing. And I've looked at a few of them in the past. This one is a different style, though, so I thought I'd look at it again. And the idea is that you plug this into a USB port or a power bank and you stick in one of these little vapour plates and it gradually vaporises insecticide. And I'd guess, you know, these all seem to use a standard size. So let's, well, let's just plug it in. Let's actually put one of these into it. Because being Chinese, it's going to have the very best of dangerous chemicals in it, probably. They have no, none of these safety limitations. So this little flap lifts up. You put your cartridge in, I'll put it up. Chinese writing up the way. You click it down. And then we shall plug it into... Uh, a power bank. So I have a power bank here and a Ruedeng power meter. I shall plug it in and we'll monitor because I think going by the box, I've just got a little blue LED, that's useful. Going by the box, it may actually have a PTC thermistor for regulating the temperature. That's a self-regulating heater. So it's initially displaying, the voltage has dropped to 4.85 volts. Uh, it's displaying um a current of 600 and... Well, it is going up. The current's going up. That's a characteristic of these uh, heaters. N initially, the current will actually increase, then it reaches a sort of knee point, then it goes back down as it self-regulates. So it's gradually creeping up, and it says it's about 3.4 watts at the moment. Okay, the box. We'll leave that to heat up. I'll see if vapour comes out at some point. The box says three functions high quality. Small body, easy to carry, both indoor... Use both indoor and outdoor. <clears throat> See, these aren't functions to me. PTCR, heating element, high efficiency heating, automatic thermostat, USB charger, quick and safety. So, what comes to mind is that if you plug this actually into one of these power banks, it would not last the whole night because these this thing draws. It's up to about 3.6 watts. It's up to 748 milliamps and rising as it heats up and then it will, should settle down. But if you plugged it into a power bank, if you wanted that little tab vaporising a tent or something all night, I'm not sure this would be the best option. But if you were travelling and you were went into a hotel bedroom, and this is really compact, uh, and they had USB chargers in the wall sockets, or you had your own uh, phone USB charger, it might actually be viable plugging one of these in instead of carrying one of the much bigger ones with the sort of like the full-size plug pins. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to leave that to heat up for a while, and we'll see what it stabilises at. Once it's done that, we'll take it apart and see what the construction's like inside. But right now, I'm going to have, now if my hands are covered in uh, insects, I'm going to have a bit of Big Turk. I'll be back in one moment. Okay, that's stabilised. It's roughly, it's just short of 100 degrees Celsius, which is right about 200 degrees Fahrenheit, I believe. The current is stabilised round about 700 milliamps, and that's with it hanging over the edge of the table. So now it's time to take it to bits. Oh, and incidentally, there is vapour, visible vapour coming off it. So these little tabs did have stuff in them. Excellent. This is good. I wouldn't necessarily trust it if uh, I was going to be eaten alive in a hotel room somewhere by bugs. But you could uh, take your own cartridges, your own little tabs. Right, now that this is absolutely smoulderingly hot... Oh, there's a little thing. What's that for? Just sit it up at an angle? Maybe it is to sit it up at an angle. Where's the... Uh, where are there instructions? Yes, there are instructions. Hold on. Chinese, 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 Chinese. Oh, it does show it up an angle. Okay. Shows it plugged into what looks like a laptop as well. I suppose that would be okay for some laptops. 
I'm not sure I'd want to leave this plugged into a laptop all the time. Anyway, it would make sure it was mosquito free though. Let's pop that little tab out because otherwise it may interfere with the disassembly. I shall pop that to the side. There are three screws. Nice that it's screwed together and not just clipped together. So I definitely think that something like this could be useful if you were traveling and you wanted just to keep that little tiny bit of space saving your luggage. Um, and also like five volts is going to be a universal voltage when you're traveling because it's the USB voltage. It's hot. Yes, it's hot. This is not a surprise. Ooh, radio. It's got a little ceramic block. I bet that ceramic... Oh, blimey, it's also got a piece of uh, mica in between it and the rest. Possibly for insulation, not really sure. Oh, that's hot. Uh, there's a USB connector. It's a little circuit board. It's got a resistor and it's got an LED. Right, tell you what, let's zoom down in this. Actually, I'm going to have to let this cool down because it's very hot. This is not really surprising. Uh, no, it's all right. It'll do. Right, tell you what, let's uh, abuse tools and use side cutters to actually lift these metal tabs up. This is not how you're supposed to use tools. It doesn't stop me doing it on a fairly regular basis, but it's not how you're supposed to use them. I can kind of guess what's going to be under here. It's going to be one of those little, either a little rectangle, probably is a rectangle, of the ceramic material with metal tabs on either side. But optimised strictly for the characteristics will be optimised for this low voltage application. Oh, here we go. There's one of the metal tabs. Oh, it's the disc of material. Let's hinge that up to reveal the disc of um, self-regulating positive temperature coefficient material. So there's a wee springy metal plate there to actually act as a springy contact. Then there's this, which once it's all smooshed down, oh, and it does smoosh down quite a bit. Once it's in there, that's what holds it in place. And I guess that is for electrical separation from that connection. It's not really needed though, is it? Because uh, it is low voltage, but it's nice that they did it with this piece of bonded uh, mica. It's not bad, you know, of the ones I've taken apart, it's one of the better quality units, and it certainly does reach the temperature that does create the vapour off these. So as long as you used reasonably good quality ones, this could actually be useful for when you're travelling. Oh, I can actually see the, the residue that's come off that. It's probably not something you really want to handle. I shall wipe it on my trousers, on my pants, as you might say, in other parts of the world. But there we go. Interesting. It's quite a smart little unit. So it's one of the better ones. And it does seem to be made up to a standard. I particularly like the little heating block. That is actually definitely one of the better ones, just because of its construction, holding that little disc perfectly in place. It's actually quite a serviceable unit.